I think these are super cute, super unique. I've never seen clips like this before where they like jiggle. Hey guys, this is another, it's not really an unboxing, it's more of like a haul. I've recently been dropping my wallet at different stores. I can't tell you, I don't know how, what is going on, but my wallet's just been dropping out of my bag. The card has been just swiping itself, buying all these things. I want to share with you guys because I bought a lot of good little cute goodies. I just figured I'd combine all of the things I bought in these past few weeks and just show you guys in a video. I got some really cute stuff that I feel like you guys might like as well and a lot of books. So if you guys are looking for any book recommendations, you might find one here that you like. I'm also going to do a little unboxing here. I bought something from Build-A-Bear and I'm super excited. Okay, my inner child is gonna come out. I've recently gone to a lot of shopping centers with one of my friends just to like shop and stuff. I didn't buy like a lot a lot but I did buy a few things that really made me happy okay. I'm gonna be listing where I bought everything down here. So the first place I can think of where we went, we went to the San Jose mall. It's called the Westfield. It's like a huge mall. I didn't buy that many things there but I did buy these two things that I'm pretty excited about. I really love cats. One of my favorite movies is Aristocats. I saw these at hot topic and who doesn't love cute little socks with cats on them the next pair of socks that i bought i think it was buy one get the other one 50 percent off something like that i got these cute mushroom socks and look they have a frog they have a crocheted frog and it's on both ankles and aren't these the cutest things i can't wait to wear these out i bought something later on that i think would look so cute with these socks dude i don't know why i've just been obsessed with frogs i feel like if i saw a frog in real life i'd probably scream and throw up the cartoon frogs are always really cute to look at see another frog we went to an urban outfitters there i got this frog plushie i've been wanting a frog plushie for a long time and i was debating if i should get the key chain from urban or the big plushie because there's like a big teddy bear one but i ended up getting the keychain because they didn't have the big plushie one and now i have it on my keys you can't tell me this is dude i literally i took it I, I took it everywhere and i was like posting pictures of it everywhere because it's are you kidding look oh my gosh no i'm obsessed and then that was everything that i got at this san jose mall for some reason not a lot of things were catching my attention noticed i've gotten a lot more picky and a lot more like specific on the clothes that I want. Like I just don't buy a bunch of stuff. And that mall had so many stores. So I'm surprised I didn't go crazy. And I didn't like just completely buy the whole freaking Urban Outfitters there. Or like the whole PacSun. The next place we went to. Oh my gosh there's so many things. This was like a completely other day. A different day. But we went to Berkeley because. Why did we go there? Oh yeah. Because I was trying to look for this hat to wear for the boys for their tour. There's like a hat store there in Berkeley right by the university and I was really convinced that they were gonna have the hat but unfortunately they did not have the hat they had similar hats but they just didn't fit um, but I did buy a good selection of hats there um, I'm probably never gonna wear these but you know they're good to have just in case one day I go to like New York or something and I need a hat um, but the first one that I saw was this brown one with like cute gems on the side and this reminds me of the girl from high school musical the one who plays the piano look it's a vibe i need to style it better but i think this hat is so adorable i was debating on whether i should even get it because i'm like where am i gonna wear this like i'm not gonna wear this but uh my friend convinced me and i was like okay bet and i think it's such a unique hat i've never seen a hat like this before especially like a brown one i mostly just see like black ones this reminds me of like new york like i would wear this if i was in new york so maybe one day i'm gonna go to new york and i'm gonna just whip this hat out yeah i love it i wish they had if this was literally black i would have found a hat for the juyon for the boys concert i don't know what the name of this hat is called i believe there's like multiple names there's like captain hat paper boy hat biker hat there's like a lot of names for it. I don't know what it's called, but something along those lines of that category. The next hat that I got was this cute one. I don't know the name of this print. It's not checkerboard. It's not gingham. It's some other name, but it reminds me of Paris. It, it makes me feel like I'm in Europe or something, probably for like winter or again, if I go to New York. I don't know why it's only New York. I could literally wear this anywhere. If I go to Paris, maybe. If I go to, I don't know. There's like a cute little button with like a bow. I don't have anything with this pattern on it. And I feel like this could be like a cute little staple if I wear like an all black or an all white or just a black and white outfit. I think putting this on top 
would be really cute if like i'm having a bad hair day or something i absolutely fell in love with this when i got it i literally wore it the same day when i got it i just wore it out i was like i'm gonna wear it right now the last hat that i got from there is a beret i've been trying to find a lot more berets i don't think i would actually wear them out or maybe if i'm like in a place where it's like really cold but i've been trying to find more berets i really want like a green one like a forest green i look crazy but i ended up getting this just simple white one i feel like it can come in handy a few times maybe if like i'm doing a photo shoot and i just like need something on my head like a little pancake on my head now i can recreate all those beret pcs and i have a black beret i just needed a white one and now i want like a forest green like i said and that's everything that i got from the hat store and then we went to this vintage shop right across the hat store they sell a bunch of vintage clothing it's actually pretty expensive but i saw this it's a frog on a skateboard and it says Señor, Señor Frogs, Mazatlán, Mexico. It's a little frog on a skateboard and I absolutely fell in love. It's like a baby tee. It's an extra large. I haven't even tried it on so I don't even know if it fits but I hope it fits. I'm pretty sure it does fit. Ooh, it looks kind of tiny. I feel like this will look so cute with these socks. And then imagine some like low rise jeans maybe and like some red Converse. Isn't that a vibe? I think it's a vibe. I'm excited. Literally, I'm going to do that soon and then take pictures of it and post it on my Instagram or something. That's the only thing I bought from that store. I wanted to get a lot more, but like I said, they were pretty expensive. This was only like 25, I think, which honestly I thought it was going to be like 50 bucks. I don't usually like wearing t-shirts or tight tees because I sweat a lot. Literally sweating right now. And I just like to keep this area free but i'm definitely gonna be wearing this and washing it right after the next place we went to was a bookstore okay and i went crazy i went pretty crazy guys i wasn't planning on getting a lot of books but as soon as i went inside i was like yeah the first book that caught my eye were a lot of them i don't remember which one it was but this one caught my attention primarily because of the cat but it says the art of murder Ooh, i swear i'm not i'm not crazy I'm not weird. This one, I really like mystery novels, crime related novels, stuff like that. So this one really caught my attention. Also, the bookstore is called Sleepy Cat Books and it's super cute. The owner is in there. He has a white cat and the cat is just there chilling with all the books and it's super cute. I definitely recommend if you guys are in the Bay Area to check out Sleepy Cat Books if you guys are into books or even just to go in to experience it. It's an entertaining mystery, a fast paced story and nonstop wisecracks offers a smooth blend of humor and homicide laugh out loud comedy with enough twists and turns to make it the top of the mystery best seller charts a quick summer read for fans of humorous mysteries with clever premises if this interests you search it up read the summary and if you like it buy it because i bought it Ooh. the next book that i got was this one which is also a mystery one it's called the woman in the fifth interesting cover actually the cover didn't really catch my attention actually what caught my attention is one of the reviews it said the woman in the fifth is a thriller for people who don't like thrillers a romance for people who don't like romances yeah honestly that first review is what sold me but it's basically about i don't even know guys i cannot summarize for the life of me before he knows it he finds himself of increasing interest to the police and waking up in a nightmare from which there is no easy escape pretty interesting if you ask me okay the next book is it's called Normal People, a novel by Sally Rooney. I think the cover um, interested me and also something that interested me, they don't use quotations. I asked Rachel to the Debs, he says, are you all right, says Lorraine. Like, you know, they don't use quotes, like they just say, says him or says her or she says, he says, but they don't use quotes. And I thought that was, honestly, that kind of turned me off. I was like, yeah, I don't think I can read that. But then my friend was like, just give it a try. Maybe you'll like it. And I was like, okay. Why not? And I think this was in one of the employee picks. Like, you know how sometimes bookstores have like a top favorites of the employees that work there? I think this was one of them. And I have seen this cover a lot, like on TikTok or whatever. So I'm pretty sure it's good. The next book that I got, which is the last book that I got there, is called Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Oh, what? It's the same author in a way? I did not know that. Oh, wait. Also, this one is a Hulu series. So maybe I'll watch the Hulu series. This one's about a young woman. She runs into this photographer and they get close to that photographer. And then I think she gets in an affair with um, the photographer's husband. And he's like much older, that kind of, that kind of story. And this one is also a he says, she says book. 
yeah we'll see we'll see if i like it gonna read it in year 2030 because i take super long to read books that bookstore also had cute little postcards and i bought some because i like to buy postcards from like bookstores and stuff and like put them on my wall the first one i got was just this leaf just a little leaf the next one are these pantone colors i've always wanted one of these and i would always feel bad if i were to take some from like home depot or, or whatever like i don't know if we're allowed to take them from there but i just got a blue and a pink one i was gonna get a green one but i was literally buying so much from there i had to stop and then the last thing that i got was this art it's just a blue ink plant that was everything that i got from the bookstore or the cat bookstore i hung out with fernanda recently we had a little picnic we went to barnes and nobles of course and i got the bts album i already unboxed it if you guys follow me on instagram you guys already know who i pulled it was crazy but i'm gonna just briefly show you guys how it looks like it comes with the cds it comes with four oh snap it comes with three cds yeah three cds in this little pamphlet thing and then it says like which songs are in which cd over there oh this poster is my favorite i think it's so unique that they did a square poster usually a lot of people do like a rectangle poster just like a longer longer one and this is the poster looks super cute and it has the lyrics the photo shoots they look so good Jin really caught my attention in this and then it comes with this with all of their singles or like their albums and like the covers and stuff a little accordion and then these are my pulls oh my god and rm yeah i never pull taehyung i think i mostly pull j-hope i think i don't have a lot of bts albums for me to say i pull a lot of a certain member um but yeah out of my k-pop years of being a bts fan i've never pulled taehyung and he's always been my bias so this really caught me by surprise i really did not think he was gonna be there rm is my bias wrecker and fernanda actually pulled rm i pulled jungkook's postcard thingy so we ended up trading and she also pulled her bias which was yoongi i like the back of the pc super cute i also want to buy the um the bigger album the the 70 dollar one <sighs> So I bought the BTS album at Barnes and Nobles, which by the way is super expensive. Like if you guys are gonna buy BTS or like just K-pop albums in general, literally Barnes and Nobles pumps up the price by like five to ten dollars. And for what reason? Like we literally price checked like how much they sell it for at Target and it was like ten dollars cheaper at Target. And I was like, what's the reason? But I'm still go to Barnes. <laughs> And then I also bought some books from Barnes because I'm a member and it just makes sense for me to buy more books. The first one that I bought is Ima Koi, which was recommended to me by Fernanda. This is the second volume. I still haven't finished the first one, but Fernanda recommended this to me. It's a cute romance manga. Um, so if you guys are into romance and mangas, I definitely recommend. I really like the first one so far, but I decided to get the second one just so I'm prepared for when I finish the first one, you know? Boom! I've been eyeing this one for a while now, every time I go to Barnes and Nobles, but um, when I went with Fernanda, I like grabbed it and she's like, oh, I heard really good things about that one. I was like, okay, bet. A person just has to say, I heard really good things about that one, and boom, I purchased. It's called The Silent Patient Thriller Novel. Kind of creepy, I believe. Can't wait to read this one. Super excited probably gonna have nightmares but it's okay i also bought one thing from amazon because i saw it from this girl's tiktok and there are these cute silver hair clips and look like it like jiggles so i got a heart one or it comes in a pack i got a heart one literally just search silver clips it comes with hearts a star and also a cross but i don't really like the cross because i don't know why i just don't like it yeah i don't really like it but i do really like the heart and the star i think these are super cute super unique i've never seen clips like this before where they like jiggle i feel like they'd be they're such cute like accessory pieces like to put your hair back but also have like some bedazzle i'm definitely gonna be using these a lot honestly might even order another pair because it'd be so cute to just like stack a bunch and then just have a jiggle <laughs> like a little friend over here i went to urban i'm sorry okay urban needs to kick me out of their store but i went to urban and i got this cute like it reminds me of like bubble wrap but it's just a top um i've been really into these kind of tops recently and to just wear like a cute lace bra underneath and it's just very airy very light not super harsh on your body especially for summer like i just want to wear more flowy stuff and less tighter things it's by the brand motel 
but urban sells it it reminds me of like a marshmallow i can't wait to wear it now this is this is my favorite part i ordered a build a bear can you guys just guess what build a bear it is it's the frog i've been waiting for this for so long now they finally shipped it today or delivered it today i named it okay i gave him a birth certificate I made him smell like a certain smell. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a Build-A-Bear, but if you guys haven't, I definitely recommend going to one and just like experiencing it. Um, unfortunately, I went to multiple Build-A-Bears and like none of them had the frog. Like it was only an online exclusive, which I had previously known, but I had seen people on TikTok and some of my mutuals getting the frog at stores and I was hoping to like experience it at the Build-A-Bear, but I had to buy it online. But it's fine. Okay, it's fine. I don't know what's up with me and being obsessed with frogs recently like maybe just because they're green oh my god i'm gonna cry <gasps> look every furry friend has a heart inside with a special wish made just for you <sighs> oh my god oh my god no okay i need time to process this is the certificate he was born it's a he he was born on june 2nd 2022 that's when i ordered it and his name is juno he's 16 inches seven ounces eyes black for color lime green belongs to me yay me just look at him i've been oh my god <laughs> i also have overalls for him but i think i'm gonna put those on later hopefully it fits because they're from my older build-a-bear everyone meet juno meet juno everyone <laughs> I'm a mother. Oh my god, we're even matching. This is literally the color of the NCT. I'm taking him to the concept. He's an in citizen, confirmed. Anyways, that is the last item on this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, it was pretty random. I got a lot of random things, but I just wanted to show you guys because you guys might like some of the things that I got. Some of the books might have interested you guys. Get a frog, build a bear. Oh, <gasps> wait, I didn't even smell it. Wait, how do I smell it? Hello? Do they not add the smell? Okay, I think I smell it. Do you have to rub it? Okay, maybe my nose doesn't work, but I'll just spray Ariana Grande perfume. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'm very active on Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, Pinterest, Spotify. Stay safe, you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Juno. Say hi to Gigi. Say hi to the YouTubes. Say bye, Gigi. Oh. Oh. Goodbye. Okay,